Julie, Hi. I have the most interesting piece of gossip about someone who you know very well, and I think you will be very interested to hear it. Okay, first of all, who are you? I'm Gossipy Gail. Everyone knows me. Okay, I assume you're called Gossipy Gail because you like to talk about what's going on in other people's lives? Yeah, doesn't everyone? And I'm guessing you really like talking about the bad stuff that's going on in other people's lives? That's the most interesting. And I'm thinking that maybe you like doing that because it makes you feel better about your own life. Like you wouldn't have done that or you wouldn't have said that. It kind of makes you feel more superior about, about yourself. Exactly. And I'm also guessing it makes you a little bit more popular. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like everyone wants to be your friend. Yeah. Whenever anyone wants to know anything, they come straight to me. And I'm guessing that makes you feel a bit more powerful. Mm-hmm. Miss Julie, you really get me. Now can I tell you about Priscilla Perfect? Okay, before you tell me about Priscilla Perfect, I know her very well and she's a lovely person. Can I ask you a few questions? Sure. Are you sure that what you're going to tell me about Priscilla is 100% true? Well, I don't know, 100%? I guess I'm not 100% sure. So you're not certain? No. Okay. Can you tell me whether what you're going to tell me about Priscilla might either hurt her or embarrass her? It probably would embarrass her. All right. And I just want to tell you something. If you tell me what you're going to tell me about Priscilla, it may mean that I may not want to share as much with you anymore or talk deeply with you because if you're going to talk behind Priscilla's back, it makes me think that someday you might talk behind my back. You know, I may not trust you as much. Now, knowing that you're not certain it's true and that it might hurt Priscilla and that it's going to make me trust you a little bit less are you sure you want to tell me what you know about Priscilla? I guess not. I'm so embarrassed, Miss Julie. I mean, I'm really, really embarrassed. Oh, that's okay. You know, talking about other people or gossiping, it can be fun or it can feel like it's fun, but when you really think about what you're doing, then it's not very fun at all anymore. So don't worry about it. You know, I was just reading in my Bible there's a lot of verses about what words can do, the power of words, especially bad words. And my favorite comes from Ephesians, and it says, are you ready? Mm -hmm. I know you are. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up, as there is need, so that your words may give grace, may give grace to those who hear. I like that. Yeah, you know, when we think about loving our neighbor, we have to think about choosing our words really carefully, and sometimes the best thing is not to say anything at all. So do you think you might just keep what you know about Priscilla under your hat? I think I will. Well, Gossipy Gail, it was great meeting you, and maybe next time I meet you, you won't be known as Gossipy anymore. Maybe. All right. Well, take care and stop by again. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.